it's time for Tweet Talk. Your first original series that dishes on all the latest celebrity tweets and Twitter trends. Welcome to Tweet Talk, I'm Shishi Yang, and this past weekend was all about the 2010 San Diego Comic Con. Yes, I'm talking about that Ultimate Geeks Fest that was once so secluded to the nerds community, but now extremely popular to the mainstream. Before we talk to Amy, who was actually at the event and spent a lot of time bumping shoulders with celebrities, here are some of the highlights. The turnout this year is truly a surprise because more TV stars showed up than movie stars. The entire cast of Glee, Weeds, Dexter, Vampire's Diaries, and more outnumbered big screen legends like Angelina Jolie and Nicolas Cage. MTV screened its upcoming series Teen Wolf on Friday and holy smokes, it looks hot. But not as hot as the provocative highlights True Blood showed of its upcoming summer episodes. I personally cannot wait for Jackass 3D. The steel stone at Comic-Con looked amazing. Amy, how are you? I am doing amazing, Shishi. Woo! I bet you are, and I am so envious that I did not get to go to Comic-Con this year. Comic-Con was awesome this year. It was incredible, actually. Um, I met tons of celebrities, and I went to tons of huge parties, and I had a blast. It was really awesome. Okay, so who was the coolest celebrity you met at Comic-Con this year? It had to be Seth Rogen. I was in an elevator with him, and I found that to be really awesome. <laughs> I have a question. Ooh! Yeah. Seth Rogen, did he say anything to you while you guys were in the elevator? Yeah. I got in, and I was like trying to figure out what floor I was going to, and finally I pressed it, and he went, You did it! And I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> True nerds are really upset by the fact that the celebrities are indeed taking over Comic-Con. How do you feel about that? I mean, I feel like now the event is a little bit more commercialized. You walk through there too, you're just getting bombarded with, you know, people handing you things and, and flyers and promoting TV shows and movies and celebrities and they're all there for that. And I don't know, like a lot of the promotion too, which was good, was for a lot of the comic books that are turning into TV shows or turning into movies, which I thought was, was good in a way. I know a lot of people actually saw you on G4. You were featured in G4, that's awesome. And you had this really cool Batwoman t-shirt on. Do you have it yeah, with you? Yeah. Man, show us, look at the t-shirt. Oh, ta-da! Well, at least we can now all understand why it's called Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> was this your idea? Was this your design? This is my dad's design. He designed it in 97. And um, I uh, took it on this year and I was like, you know, I'm going to market this thing because he designed it and he put it away in a closet. And I'm like, come on, this is amazing. So I wore it uh, around Comic Con and I got like a thousand people wanting it and going crazy over it. I bet. I want one too. Do I get one? Yes, of course. For free? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we got you on camera. Um, I'm mailing one to Seth Rogen. I talked to his publicist, and I am getting one to Jack Black on Thursday. Nice, nice. Now, I also heard that Angelina Jolie was at Comic-Con. She did the panel for Salt. She was there Thursday. Now, Angelina said that she did all her stunt work for the new action flick Salt. Do you believe that? I don't know if I can believe that. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be there next year for sure in my little Sailor Moon costume. Alrighty, Tweetables, did you guys have fun at Comic Con this year? Make sure to go to www.mytweetalk.tv and let us know. Also, check out Amy's Batwoman t shirt. Look at this, you know you want one. Go to batwomant.com. I'm Shishi Yang, and I'll see you guys next week.